In my humble opinion, I think risk of ruin is number one or the most important concept in trading. And understanding risk of ruin actually gives you a line in the sand that says that you should not be trading. And this is why, you know, I believe that why people lose is essentially most people are clueless about this, this key concept about risk of ruin. Welcome to Better System Trader, the podcast to help systematic traders of all levels improve their trading. We'll give you loads of expert tips and practical advice on system design and validation, money management, trading psychology, and many other topics. Whether you're just starting out or a savvy systematic trader, we're here to help you improve your trading and find more success. This is Better System Trader with your host, Andrew Swanscott. Hi there, it's Andrew here and welcome to another Thursday Trading Thought from Better System Trader. Last week I was in the States, Um, I flew back a few days ago, in fact I had a flight out of LAX on Monday night and as we were sitting on the plane waiting for our departure we had a delay due to some type of issue um, loading the plane. I think one of the cargo containers was damaged or stuck so they had to replace it with another container before we could leave. Anyway, as we were waiting for that to be fixed, the flight attendants were serving us drinks and I overheard a flight attendant say to a fellow passenger that one of the other planes had been struck by lightning. So there were some type of delays while that plane was being checked. Now, at the time, I didn't know if a lightning strike on a plane was a bad thing. It sure sounds like something you don't really want to experience. However, it got me thinking about the risks of flying. Now, (laughs) admittedly, it's probably not the best thing to be thinking about just before the plane takes off for a 16-hour flight across the Pacific Ocean at night. But (laughs) luckily, my thoughts quickly switched to trading and the risks that we face as traders. And one of the core concepts which immediately came to my mind was risk of ruin, uh, which we first discussed way back in episode number two. Now, that snippet of audio that you heard at the start was from episode two as well, and that was Brent Penfold explaining how risk of ruin is the number one most important concept in trading. I want to share a little bit more of that audio with you now because it explains nicely why it's so important, what it is, and how it's calculated. And then um, after that, I'll let you know how to get a free tool that you can use to um, simulate your risk of ruin. Plus, I'll let you know what happens to a plane when it's struck by lightning. But first, the trading. So let's hear from Brent about risk of ruin. That ties in nicely with a a statement you make about avoiding risk of ruin. Mm. Can you explain what risk of ruin is? Sure. In my humble opinion, I think risk of ruin is number one or the most important concept in trading. I can tell you that everybody who has traded and lost would have or did have, if if they don't trade anymore, would have a risk of ruin above 0%. Because risk of ruin is just a a pretty simple concept. It's a mathematical uh, measure that will tell a trader that based on how much money they wish to um, allocate per trade, according to the way they wish to trade the market, that will produce a mathematical percentage or likelihood or probability that if they continue to trade according to what percentage of their risk capital they want to place in the trade, according to their methodology, where they want to enter a market, place a stop and exit, and when you combine those two, mathematically they produce a probability if the trader continues that way, that what their probability uh, will be that they'll re- reach a point in their account balance that says they can no longer trade. That is, um, they've reached their ruin point. So it's risk of ruin. What is the probability that the way you want to trade will result in you essentially blowing up your account? And to me, it's a number one concept. And this is why, you know, I believe that why people lose is essentially most people have a clueless about this, this key concept about risk of ruin. Um, if that's, the, if that's the only idea that people pick out of my book, and I talk about a lot, talk about this a lot when I do presentations, then certainly my, my, the time I took and the effort I took into writing this book and the, the time I'd take to travel and, and talk to people would certainly be, be worth it because people aren't stupid. People aren't stupid. And, and once you tell people that, you know, guess what, the way that you, um, you know, determine how much you're prepared to risk on a trade 
once you marry that with the way that you want to trade the markets, it has to produce a, a, a mathematical probability about whether you will be essentially successful or broke, which is risk of ruin. That is a huge light bulb moment for most people because they can go back and go, oh, my God, <sighs> calculations. God, my risk of ruin is 30%, 20%, 10%. You know, it's far too high. I have to stop trading. And understanding risk of ruin actually gives you a line in the sand that says that you should not be trading if your mathematical risk of ruin is essentially above 0%. Because even with somebody who has a very low risk of ruin of, say, 2 3 1%, that may be a lot better or certainly is a lot better than somebody who has a risk of ruin of 30 40 or 50%. But the fact is, regardless of how big that number is, any number above 0% is still a guarantee that that person will eventually go bust. It's just a, a matter of time. Okay, thanks, Brent, for sharing that. Now, let me just repeat that last line because I think it's a key point to acknowledge. Brent said, any number above 0% is still a guarantee that person will eventually go bust. It's just a matter of time. Now, if you're wondering how to calculate risk of ruin easily, Brent has kindly made a uh, risk of ruin simulator available in Excel. Now, you can download that for free from the show notes page. So head on over to bettersystemtrader.com slash 87 and click the link that says, give me more info on risk of ruin. Also, you may want to take a listen to that podcast interview with Brent because he covers a lot of great information on the fundamentals of trading, which I think even as experienced traders is sometimes good to be reminded of. So you can grab that at bettersystemtrader.com slash two. You may want to take a listen to that while you're out exercising to burn off all the Easter eggs we're all bound to consume over the next few days. Anyway, that's it for this episode. But before I go... If you're still wondering what actually happens when planes are struck by lightning, the good news is planes are designed to cope with lightning strikes without any damage to the plane, its instruments or its passengers. So that is really comforting to know. Anyway, that's it for this episode. In a few days time, we'll be releasing another podcast interview, which I think you'll find very timely considering recent market conditions. So look out for that one in just a few days and I'll catch you then. Thanks for listening to Better System Trader. Thanks for listening to the Better System Trader podcast. The next step is to head over to bettersystemtrader.com for more expert tips, practical advice, and exclusive content. Catch us next time for even more great ways to improve your trading here on Better System Trader. Better System Trader.